Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to use sample skeletal mesh in Niagara on MetaHuman. In this example, we use GBuffer to sample screen space information, including color, roughness, yes. So we can see that no matter how many materials there are in MetaHuman, its color will be sampled correctly. Okay, first we need to import a metahuman. Here we use Cooper as an example. And then let's create a basic Niagara for sample skeletal mesh. Emitter state self infinity. Okay. Same target, we select GPU and fixed. Now let's add a spawn rate 10,000. Left time is 3 to 5 and split size is 1 to 2. Now we add sample skeletal mesh. Here we can keep it as default. Don't set its preview and default mesh. We can directly attach Niagara to charter when we need. It will automatically sample the charter we certainly attach. And sample skeletal mesh doesn't set particle position, so we need manually set particle position to sample skeletal mesh sampled position. And then we can add a force like acceleration to make particles easier to preview. Negative 100, yes, y axis. Now we can attach this Niagara to MetaHuman. Here we have two methods. The first is to add a Niagara system directly to the component. We can try it here. Add a Niagara particle. Okay. Oh, it seems that we sampled its bones. We need to select triangle. Okay, that's right. Now we sampled mid-human's body. Let's attach Niagara to torso. Yes, that's right. The second way we can search spawn system attached. When we begin play, Select Niagara and attach to skeletal mesh. Okay. Now let's sample screen space for Niagara. In this way, no matter how we modify the material color of the charter, it will be sampled correctly and will not be affected by a single material. The method we used before is usually only applicable to charters with a single material. So this is a better way. Oh, we should have done this method before. It's very simple, so let's do it again. Create a new module. Add a buffer and particle position. In GBuffer, we need to decode since color. Of course, roughly metallic, specular, that's enough. And then there's green UV, we need to use particle position. Word position to screen UV. Connect them. In map site, we just search particle color and dynamic parameter. Okay. Since color to particle color and dynamic material parameter, we can combine them. Make vector 4. Here we don't use W, so keep it 0. Okay, apply. Now we need to create a new material. It's also very simple. Add a particle color 
RGB channel to base color and dynamic parameter, parameter 1, metallic, specular, and rough lace. Okay, save material and use it to split render. Okay, it should be work. Oh, it looks a little bit wrong. Let's take a look. Oh yes, we should disable apply view port of sight in module. Yes, that's right. Let's try modify the color of shirt. For example, if we change it to blue, the Niagara will sample correctly. Right, yes, that's okay. This is a better way for sample charter. And then, if we want to dissolve a spawn character for metahuman, we need to modify its materials. However, we can see Cooper have a lot of materials, so we may need to modify them one by one. Okay, let's try it. For example, at the dissolve, we need a opacity mask. Here we can use a material parameter collection set to uniformly control their materials. Rename this parameter to mask. Okay, in material we add an if. A is material parameter collection. We need to search collection parameter. Mask is A, and B we use a noise texture. R channel. If A greater and equal B, output zero. If A less B is one. Okay, that's a simple design in material. Same material and adjust this mask. Well, it doesn't work. Let's see. Oh yes, blend mode, we need to select mask. That's right. Now we need to do this operation on all the parent materials in Cooper. Here I will not show you this process. It's all repeated operations. Let's take a look at the result. Now let's add a Niagara for each bone in Blueprint. There are 5 bones in total, so we add them in Blueprint make array also we need a for each loop array to array loop body is spawn a system attached and attached to component is array element that's it let's play Okay, this is what we need. Spawn Niagara for each bone. Of course, since this is just an example effect, we only add acceleration force, so this particles doesn't look pretty good. In our project, we can add some other force according to our needs. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.